perspective. I'm sure there are some skeptics out there that are thinking, I'll just deal with my symptoms, or as you said, I'll just take a pill for it and kind of mask the symptoms. Um, what would you say to that patient and what makes your approach unique? Yeah, I think we, we we can put up with a lot and we kind of hope something's magically going to go away on its own. Um, but when you appreciate the fact that the body is giving you a symptom for a reason, it's trying to tell you it's overwhelmed to the degree that it can't self-heal anymore. And so, yes, you can wait until it gets a lot worse or it's always easier to fix when it's not as severe. But to realize that the one problem, like, like acid reflux or having migraines, underneath that is, an, is a number of systems and organs that are not functioning the way they should. And that's going to lead to other problems down the road. So what I would say is, is don't ignore it. You know, if you've ever thought, well, why? Why am I getting this? You know, I'm just being told to take this pill or um, I have this problem because of family and uh, or it's just bad luck people you know people get high blood pressure there's there's not a lot you can do about it you know, if you're being told these kind of excuses as I like to say versus really getting to really giving you an answer because when I talk to patients they say oh my gosh that's what I've been asking my doctor for years why why am I why am I experiencing this and what can I do to resolve it there there is that answer and then, you know, what we do, I think that's so unusual is, um, number one, we do complimentary consultations, which gives patients an opportunity to really discuss anything and everything about their health and make sure we're a good fit for one another. And then after that is a very comprehensive examination and history taking process where patients tend to say, wow, I've, I've never been asked questions like this. Nobody's, you know, delved into my, my health and background to this degree. And then once we do an examination, we decide, okay, what are the possible root causes here? You know, there's a list of possible systems and, and things that are driving these symptoms to occur. What kind of lab testing do we want to do? And then it's how to interpret those labs and what is a treatment that will actually safely and effectively resolve the problem. So there's a lot of steps to what we do that I've learned over the years as I've interviewed doctors to join our team um, are very unique. And it's, it's just that, that whole comprehensive look, not to mention having a team of doctors because we have a team that works together and they're from a lot of different uh, aspects of health and, and different degrees of specialty. And that team works together and we, we coalesce and, and we have a, a brain trust, as I like to call it, um, really smart individuals that are bringing their own area of expertise. And again, that comes back to our, our tenacity to not give up because we know there's a root cause.